What's good YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a media source in OBS Studio. Very simple, very easy. All you have to do is hit the plus icon on sources, come down and go to media source. And once you do that, you can name the media source, whatever you need it to be. Hit OK. And then you're going to browse for the source. You can also choose if you want it to be a local file, if you want it to keep looping, like maybe it's like for a border for your webcam or just something you don't want to leave the screen after it stops playing. You can loop it and then you can choose to restart the playback whenever the source becomes active you can also choose to use hardware decoding when available this will take off some of the load on your cpu and then you can choose show nothing when playback ends so it won't be anything on the screen at all and you can also close the file when inactive you don't want this running in the background using up resources that your computer could use for other situations and then you can choose the speed in which you want to play it back the speed at 100 percent will be the normal playback speed if you lower it or you speed it up that'll be be whichever one you want to do you can also choose the color range you want to put this on partial never put it on full because full is more like for color grading and stuff like that you you don't want it to be full it'll look just how it's supposed to look if you put it on partial once you browse for the exact thing that you want to be using as you can see you can click right here it's not going to show up pictures it has to be a video file. So I went ahead and dropped the video in this folder. All you gotta do is double click, hit okay, and then hit okay on here too. And then once you hit okay, you'll see the image start playing. It may not be the exact size of your canvas, so all you gotta do is right click on it and then go to transform, and then you can go to fit to screen. And once you do that, it'll be perfectly fine. So with that being said, this is how you get any media source as far as videos are concerned, showing up on your live streams or recordings in OBS Studio. If this video helped you out, please slam the like button, Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.